안녕하세요 여러분 리플 마니아입니다 오늘 좀 인터넷 오브 밸류에 대해서 잘 모르시는 분들이 계셔가지고 좀 말씀을 드려보려고 합니다 리플사가 무슨 일을 하는지도 잘 모르시는 분들이 많고요 리플사가 어떤 목표를 이루고 가고 있는지도 잘 모르시는 분들이 많이 있습니다 그래서 오늘 트위터를 제가 좀 살펴보는데 리플사에서 3월 12일에 지금 오늘은 3월 17일이죠 한 5일 전에 어, 이 영상을 가져오면서 지금 이것을 보라고 그러면서 트위터에 날린 거 봤습니다 리플사에서도 뭐 옛날 거 영상도 들 많이 이렇게 공유를 해요 그만큼 목표가 변하지 않았다는 라 거죠 최종적인 목표가 크리스 라슨이 말하는 건데 이 인터넷 오브 밸류가 도대체 뭐냐 아, 인터넷 오브 밸류 영어로 뜻으로 하면 한글로 해석하면 그냥 가치의 인터넷이라고 하는데 그냥 우리가 편하게 인터넷 가치라고 이야기를 합니다 편하게 그래서 이게 무슨 말이냐 라고 했을 때 여러분 정보가 이동할 때 인터넷이 빠르잖아요 정보가 보낼 때뭐 이메일을 보내거나 아니면 우리가 이렇게 홈페이지에서 정보를 볼때 굉장히 빠르게 굉장히 편하게 보잖아요 그것처럼 가치나 이런 돈 아니면 이런 다양한 상품들을 인터넷처럼 돈 인터넷에 정보가 이동하는 것처럼 돈의 이동도 편하게 돼야 된다 라고 하는 게 목표고 그것을 이루기 위해서 블록체인과 암호화폐 결합을 하게 되는 거죠 그러면서 인터렛저 프로토콜이 또 결합이 되는 겁니다 인터렛저 프로토콜이 또 뭐냐 라고 궁금하시는 분들이 계시는데 이거는 제가 또 다음 영상에서 한번 다뤄보도록 하겠습니다 지금은 최종 목표가 가치를 인터넷에서 정보가 이동하는 것처럼 이 모든 가치를 이동을 시키자 인터넷처럼 편리하게 이동을 시키자 라고 하는 게 바로 이제 리플사의 목표입니다 그래서 이 목표 이 영상에 대해서 제가 예전에 번역한 거 있는데 그거 한번 이제 보여드리도록 하겠습니다 Chris, how would you describe what the Internet of Value is and what the sort of insight is to get us there? Yeah, so um, a lot of it came from kind of the early work you guys did with pathfinding and again having this, you know, anything of value can be traded. That kind of was the germ of it. But kind of stepping way back, um, if you look at the real problem in the world today, um, you know, a lot of people point to globalization as being, you know, not working for people. And we would say, no, it's not that it's not working. It's just that it's a, it's a work in progress, right? It's incomplete. Um, so we could have a, a real globalization needs interoperability in you know, three core things, right? Data, uh, sh uh, goods, shipping, uh, and money. And uh, the problem is it only has interoperability in data, obviously the internet, uh, and shipping since the 50s with the shipping container, which creates interoperability between port to other port, you know, ship to train to truck. Um, but you don't have that with money. Uh, money networks don't interoperate. And if you have that, now billions of people will s are onboarded into a real working, you know, kind of system of globalization. And it, uh, that's upon us. I think that that's really what we're trying to build here. And I think the need is very, very evident now because you have companies that have very, very light infrastructure or none in the areas they serve. <clears throat> you know, if you talk to folks at the uh, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation who do a ton of work um, uh, in the financial infrastructure, you know, of the world, um, you know, the big thing that they're trying to accomplish is to allow people to send as little as 50 cents, you know, somebody in the developing world, if they're really going to be a participant in the global economy. And that's just impossible today, right? I mean, even, uh, it's really even impossible to send 50 bucks from the U.S. to Europe without it being all chewed up in fees. Uh, 50 cents is just not on the table. But in a world now, this kind of internet of value, combining things like ILP and XRP, that is absolutely possible. That is, uh, you know, uh, so frictionless and so fast, it completely changes the economics. Um, and then uh, beyond, you know, those billions of people that need to send 50 cents, think about the trillions of devices and code that needs to be able to send, you know, 10,000th of a cent. Um, that is also enabled through what's going on here. So pretty, pretty exciting. I think the vision is to be able to make an international payment as cheap and easy as pulling up a web page, like something that you would do without even thinking about the mechanics or the costs or who has to do what. It's just so automatic and so cheap and so scalable and there's so many of them happening that it's almost invisible. You don't even think about doing it. Yeah, almost like the, um, the value is moving with the data, just right on top of each other. Um, and that, that is a world that we can have, but not with the infrastructure you have today. Um, you've got kind of an internet world, kind of working with a pre-internet world of money, and those things are not lining up. 
Um, so this is a big bottleneck for the world. If we can push through this, um, that's it. And again, blockchains are not the only answer. They're, part, they're a subset of the solution, but uh, the broader solution combines this uh, kind of value uh, interoperability protocols with a super fast and efficient digital asset and then with some kind of mechanism for programming how that value moves around.